Hi everyone and welcome to another quick Cyto video tutorial. In this tutorial we will see the elements of the colloid nodule, the most common diagnosis on thyroid cytology. So the cells we usually see in this benign cases are follicular cells and they have this regular nuclei with evenly distributed um, cells in the microfollicle. Here in the diff quick, we can see the microfollicles and a slight granularity of the cytoplasm uh, of those cells that is very common in this benign elements. Usually you can often see uh, cells with scant cytoplasm uh, with an atrophic appearance and also thin colloid in the background and foamy macrophages. Here is another example of a macrofollicle. And here we can see the well-preserved macrofollicles with three D structures, but very normal looking cells, some having atrophic appearance. Sometimes colloid is abundant. So here we can see a colloid that resembles cellophane paper um, here in PAP, the same aspect. Or it may show up as cracked colloid. This is called a tangram appearance. When the sample has extensive cystic degeneration, we can see some cyst lining cells. And these cells may often exhibit some degree of atypia. However, the vacuolated cytoplasm and the spinocell cell format of the cell, along with the cystic background, is usually enough to regard these changes as reactive in the setting of a cystic component of a colloid nodule. So thank you very much and see you next time.